This video has kindly been sponsored by Timu. Timu is an online marketplace that sells a wide range of super affordable products. They have jewelry, clothing, home decor, office supplies, pet supplies, pretty much every single genre of shopping that you could possibly think of. They do have site-wide sales with as much as 90% off and their delivery and returns is also completely free which just gives you a little bit more ease, especially with clothing and knowing that you can return something completely free if it doesn't quite fit right. They accept all major credit cards and debit cards and they also accept the pay later programs as well. They do have an app, which is actually what I've been using to make my orders because I just find it a little bit easier to navigate on my phone and that is easily downloadable on the app store. I will include my exclusive link in the description where you can get £100 worth of Timu coupons to use and pretty much all of the products used in today's video are kindly from Timu as well so you can just get a little bit of an idea as to what they sell thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy hi I recognize your lovely face how are you doing today yeah you're okay and you're here today for a facial with one of our students yeah perfect so I will just check you off our list to begin with how did you find the traffic this morning? Yeah, it was okay. I know this is the first time you've actually visited us in a peak hour. But it was okay, just a little bit busier, but not too bad. Okay, good. Sometimes on my way into work, it can be extremely busy. Okay. Now I know that you, of course, visit us quite regularly. Would you like me to just go over the process, or are you kind of happy to just go with the flow? Yeah, you're happy to just sort of proceed, you know the drill, of course, okay. Now, of course, today it is a spa facial demonstration, so just like the other times, I will be helping the student throughout, and I'll be talking them through the different stages of the facial and the products we're using. I will also be giving a bit of justification as to why we're using those certain products today. That just helps with their decision-making skills when they do have a client in front of them. And of course, there's no teacher around, okay? Is there anything that you would like to ask before I bring our lovely student in? No, you're sure. Okay, so our student today is Amanda. So. I will pop and get Amanda, and then we will come back and see you, okay? All right. And of course, if there's anything you're not too sure about, you can just go ahead and ask me, okay? All right. So this is Amanda, our third year student. I think you're just about to qualify, aren't you? Gosh, next month. Okay, that has come around really quickly. So a lot of what we'll be going through today, Amanda will probably already know. In fact, I'm pretty much um, certain you will, but we do have a checklist that we have to go through. So um, you may hear me saying some things that you may think, oh gosh, your third year would already know. Chances are she probably does. But as I said, we just need to adhere to that checklist. Okay, Amanda. So what I'd like you to tell me to start with, if it's okay, kind of what would be your protocol? You've just walked into the room. How would you kind of, um, what would you do next? How would you go from there? Yeah, perfect, okay. Yeah, absolutely. So client identification and check allergies or sensitivities, okay. Yeah, so we've identified patient first. Thank you. And any allergies or sensitivities? No. Okay, perfect. There is just one. I don't know if I'm just being a little bit nitpicky, but I probably would say as well, just make sure you identify the facial um, program that they're actually in for today. Yeah, I knew you would probably do that anyway. That's okay. It just means that 
we have the right person in front of us, of course, because we've checked the name, but sometimes people accidentally book the wrong treatment. So sometimes we have people come in and they actually think they've booked a laser hair removal, but actually they've booked, um, actually they're in for a facial for us. Okay, so it's just making sure they're in for the right treatment today. And of course, yeah, hand sanitizing, perfect. I saw you do that as we walked into the room, so that's perfect. So what would you say, um, where would we go from there? Yeah, let's get all the hair back, absolutely. Our client has wonderful hair, but it would be a little bit of a hindrance for us, wouldn't it, um, whilst we're carrying out the treatment, so definitely. So let's go ahead and get that back. Are you okay if we apply a headband as well? Is that all right? Yeah, okay, perfect. So let me apply the headband first. Adjust that. Adjust it around your ears a little bit. What I may actually do, Amanda, I don't know what you think, but instead of putting it all back into one tie, because this lady does have quite thick hair, that might be a little bit uncomfortable. So I would probably put it either in two kind of like space buns or just braid both sides. Yeah, okay. It would exactly. I think all of it going back in a bun would be quite painful. So would you prefer braids or two kind of little buns at the top of your head? Braids? Okay, perfect. Get these two. So Amanda, are you okay braiding that side? And I'll braid this. Yeah, beautiful. Your hair feels really soft. Yeah, the color is so beautiful now as well, isn't it? Absolutely. Amanda, we did have this lady pop in for a color correction recently. Um, and one of our other students, you might know her actually, um, Jessica. Yeah, so she color corrected and she's done such a beautiful job there, hasn't she? Okay, perfect. You can, I mean, that braid looks perfect. Yeah, I would just probably, you could just adjust this on the end, can you, so it's a little bit looser, but that's absolutely fine, and then sort of just adjust the front. I may just pop a um, clip on the sides as well, just to kind of um, get everything back from the bang. Does everything feel okay there? Yeah, you're sure? Okay, just adjust that a little bit more. Okay. So what I like to do, Amanda, is obviously examine the skin first of all, but I do just like to have a look at the consultation form and just kind of mix and match. So take a look at the skin, look at the consultation form, and vice versa, just to kind of get a bit of an idea as to what we're working with, okay? She struggles with blocked pores, a bit of congestion. Yeah, and we can see that she's using tretinoin, okay, which is really important, particularly as we move ahead in the facial. Um, there are some products that we would not be able to use. They're contraindicated, okay, with tretinoin. So that's why it's always really good to look, okay. Um, 
So what I suggest we start to do then, Amanda, is we cleanse the skin whilst we're looking at the skin as well, okay? Sometimes I do like to just cleanse um, before I actually do the consultation because I just find you can actually see the skin a little bit better, okay? Um, okay, dokie. So let's pop on our gloves. So what cleanser were you thinking of using, Amanda? When you've had a look at the consultation form, you've just taken a look at the client's skin. Yeah, perfect. I thought you were going to say that, absolutely. So I will start to apply that and then we can use a facial brush as well just to kind of have a look at the skin a little bit closer, okay? All right. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, so some sort of brush. Okay. Now, I do know that you have a cleansing brush on your station, don't you? And I have put one on mine as well. What I will probably start with is the softer side, and then we will go on to more of the exfoliating side afterwards. Okay. All right. So if you want to do that side of the face, and I can take this. Yeah, beautiful. I do like to just bring this down onto the neck as well because I think it's really important that we focus skincare on the neck as well. said we can go to this side as well so this may feel just a teeny bit more scratchy okay but just go ahead and let us know if anything's painful all right okay yeah it's just on the I think yours is um, actually a separate brush in it yeah perfect we don't all have them on the back So what I might just do to help the cleanser work in a little bit better is just spray a little bit of water, okay Amanda? And you will see how much this improves the glide of the brush. I will just close your eyes there if you can. Thank you. Perfect. Yeah, can you see how it just blends a little bit easier, doesn't it? it a little bit easier to use the brush and also on the client it will feel a little bit nicer if there's a little bit more um, water there if there's less traction on the skin okay all right And you, of course, know when you're doing it really well when you go under the eye 
eyes, you want to do more of a sort of gentle stroke rather than an actual um, circular movement. So beautiful. You're doing that perfectly. Can you see Amanda already? Some of the comedones are actually lifting from the pores without us even needing to really use any actives as well, which is a really good. And we can see that the client's skin isn't very reactive, which is a really good sign for us as well going forward. Okay. Perfect, okay. Now once we've completed that, we can move the intensive treatment masks. Now this is just my personal preference, but I always love to include the client in the mask choices. So what I will do is actually go around the store first of all, and based off the consultation form, I will actually pick out some masks that I think would suit this client's skin tone, and I will probably pick around five or six, and then I will be able to show them the client and they can just get involved in the decision-making process then as well, okay? Because some people have preferences for scents or textures um, and they can obviously be involved in that if I show them the ones that I've selected, okay? All right, so, okay, so these are the ones that I have selected. I will just show Amanda first, okay? All right, um, so you can see there is a range what I've really tried to go with with this particular lady is I want to make sure the skin is moisturized, but I didn't want to put anything on the skin that is going to cause any further congestion. Absolutely, so beautiful. That is why I picked that one as well with the vitamin C because I thought there is a little bit of a scope for brightening on the skin as well. And I know that you mentioned you'd like to have a little bit of a brighter, fresher complexion. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, so these are the ones I've chosen, and as I said, I think it's really good to involve the client in the decision-making process. It just makes it a little bit more fun for them. Okay, so you do have quite a few to choose from today. Now, I don't know if you have a particular favorite scent or... You like cherry, okay? So we do have the ch the cherry mask there. We do, so let me have a look. So we have a strawberry one, which actually has strawberry extract in, which is a really good gentle exfoliant. Yeah, so between the cherry and the strawberry. Okay, I'll just pop those there. So between these two. Okay, so let's have a look. Mm, I'd probably be leaning towards the strawberry, but the cherry is good. The difference that I would say between the cherry and the strawberry is that the cherry is probably a little bit more abrasive. Yeah, so maybe lean towards the cherry. Okay, we can actually let you take this home if you want it as well. So we can apply this today and then I'll let you take that home. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right, Amanda, so are you happy if I apply this or would you like to apply it yourself? No, you're happy for me to go ahead. Okay. Have you used sheet masks before? Yeah, okay. I know they're quite common now, aren't they? When I first started training, people didn't really use sheet masks at all, so we, uh, we've come a long way. Okay. All right, do you want to just smell it? It's so beautiful, isn't it? I love this one. It really does smell like um, strawberries, and there's a little bit of papaya in there as well, which I think just gives it a really beautiful extra kick. Okay. All right. So, of course, Amanda, you know that the 
she masks look like this and there isn't really a wrong or right way to apply them I know that some people like to kind of stretch it out first and then apply it I tend to just work from the corners rather than the kind of um, pulling technique there okay if you want to just close your eyes just once I'm applying it if that's okay sweetie it's just in case we accidentally get it in your um, eye we don't want that you can really smell it now can't you it's beautiful okay Amanda can you just check that it's connected on your side please Beautiful, thank you. And I will just check it's connected there on the top. Perfect. Okay. I'm just going to pat. Okay. So, Amanda, what I like to do while the mask is sitting, I do like to do some form of body treatment, okay? So typically I will ask the client if there's anything that they like. So we have dry body brushing, we can do some massages, we can do some cupping techniques. Um, but yeah, just generally ask what the, the client would like. I do tell all of my students that some of our clients are only able to budget coming in to see us maybe once a year, so we really want to try and make the treatment as special as possible for them. We really want to make them feel really pampered, and I do like to go a little bit above um, maybe other places they may have visited, so I like to do body treatments, and scalp treatments as well as the, um, the typical facial program as well. Okay, so is there anything you would like today with regards to body treatments? We've got the cupping, the body brushing, the massage. We do offer a tanning service as well if you would like a little bit of tan. You like the sound of the dry body brushing? Absolutely. So Amanda, you will see on your station there, I have popped a body brush. I have one on mine as well. Would we be okay in just lowering your top just a little bit so we can actually get to your back as well? Would that be okay? Perfect. All right, sweetie. No, don't worry. We're able to do that. It's just... Um, Amanda, I don't know if, are you able to just undo the, uh, the buttons at the back? Thank you. I'll just take this one here. Perfect. Yeah, so we can just sort of, um, leave it around there if that's okay. Okay. Is that alright? You don't feel too exposed around there? No, are you sure? Okay, good. I mean, it is just going to be me and Amanda in the room. Nobody else will um, will be coming in, so you don't need to worry about that. Okay. And do you ever get any body acne, any eczema? No. Okay. Yeah, so your skin looks pretty clear as it is. There's no um, signs of any skin condition that I can see, but we do just need to be a little bit careful with that, Amanda. If we are body brushing, of course, you know, we, we need to make sure we're not irritating the skin. Okay. All right. Now, do you want me to just test this on your arm first of all so you know what it's going to feel like on your back and your chest? Yeah, perfect. So if you can just hold your arm out. Wonderful. Thank you. So it's going to feel like that. Does that feel okay? Yeah, it feels nice. Beautiful. Okay. So Amanda, if you're happy, you can start sort of on the shoulder and a little bit on the upper arm. And I will do the same on the other side and then we will meet in the back, okay? All right. Just going to lift your arm up. Perfect. You can, you can see the dry skin is, um, is coming off really easy, isn't it? I will follow this with a uh, moisturizer as well so we can really seal in moisture there. Just going to stretch your arm up again a little bit. Thank you. Yeah, Amanda, 
hand that you can. So you can do circular motions on the arms or you can do kind of strokes as long as we're working toward the heart. Yeah, so that's perfect, absolutely. Wonderful, Amanda, don't worry. We'll just go to the back as well. Sometimes on the back I do just apply a little bit more pressure because the back is insensitive. I do like as well with body brushing to always be working around. I don't like to just focus in on one particular area for too long, okay? And if you can just lean your back forward, thank you. I'm just gonna get right at their lower back there. Work on that. sort of hold both of your arms out like that just so we can get underneath. Perfect. softer so it's really good at just kind of finalizing the body scrubbing treatment it really just helps lift anything that's sort of sitting on the surface okay you do so you have one there I think it's the blue one yeah you just have a different color don't you yeah and are you okay doing that on that side yeah perfect okay are just going to follow you up with a little bit of moisturizer okay you may notice your skin feels a little bit dry but it is good to kind of get all of that excess dead skin off the surface and then to follow it with a moisturizer okay you don't feel irritated your skin doesn't feel no not tight or restricted no perfect okay some people um, very occasionally notice just a little bit of um, irritation, but it should, if you do have any redness, it should subside really quickly, okay? So I'm going to apply around about that much. I'll just give you some to apply as well. There we go. And again, if you can focus on that side, and I will focus on here, and then we'll meet in the middle, okay?
Okay, how does that feel? Yeah, feels nice. Good. Okay. Just going to get a little bit of that excess off there for you. Okay. All right, Amanda. So, what I would say now is we should remove the mask and we can go ahead and then moisturize the skin as a final step, okay? All right. We could, so we could use a serum for moisturizer or we could use an actual um, cream base or an emollient type moisturizer. What would you say for this lady's skin type though? Yeah, I would be leaning a little bit towards an emollient as well, absolutely perfect because of the tretinoin, but also because we have used quite a few abrasive um, treatments on the skin today. I think it'd be really good to go in with um, an emollient, okay? All right. So, let's remove this mask. How did the mask feel? Yeah, good. I love sheet masks. I pretty much um, wear one every night now. I try and um, make it last a little bit longer. So I notice sometimes that if you um, take it out and you pop it in the fridge in a little bag, you can actually reuse it um, the day after as well. Okay. All right, let's have a look at your skin. So you are looking like a glazed donut. You're looking really beautiful. Okay. All right, Amanda. So I will let you choose the specific emollient that we're going to use. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, I would, I would lean towards that as well. Possibly the, um, that one if the skin looked a little bit red, sometimes after treatments, particularly if they're using an active, it can look a little bit red, but this lady, um, we're not looking red at all, so we can go ahead with that one, absolutely. Okay, Amanda, so I don't know whether you're familiar with the Gua Sha tool. Yeah, you sort of use it occasionally. Okay, so I do typically lean towards using the gua sha on most of my clients. I do feel like there are instant results in regards to puffiness. And I know that you mentioned before, yeah, you are prone to a little bit of puffiness in the cheek. Yeah, in the cheek and the lower jaw area. So I do find it can be really useful for that. I also find if, and we can sometimes spot these clients a mile away, can't we, if they're holding a lot of tension in their jaw, the gua sha can just feel really nice, it can relieve the tension, and I feel like those um, clients are really good candidates for that treatment, okay? So I have popped one on your station as well. So you can, if you wanted to, if you don't feel comfortable with using it, that's absolutely fine. But if you do and you would like to follow me, I'll sort of just show you the technique that I use, okay? All right. So I like to just start around the chin area. Of course, the skin is really well lubricated as well, which is a necessity for this. And then I will just sort of move it along the skin really kind of slowly, just like this. Now the practice of gua sha actually originates in China where it's actually 
believed that it releases some toxins from the bloodstream, but as we don't practice traditional Chinese medicine here in the salon, I don't really um, further comment in regards to toxins. That's something really, if they wanted more information on, they would go and um, speak to a specialist practitioner in that area, okay? All right. So yeah, just move it gently along the jawline and upwards. And then when you get to the, uh, just around the ear, you can sort of just rotate it a little bit like that. And then do the same movement again. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, you're not heavy handed at all. No, don't worry. You're, you're doing it beautifully. I do find some students initially um, can find the gua sha a little bit tricky to use, but no, you're picking it up wonderfully there. And then on the cheeks, I do sort of that movement, so just like that, really gently. And you may see some redness, but it's only ever facial treatment by just asking the client whether they would like me to identify the products that we use today in our brochure. I always also offer a 20% discount if they purchase anything. They don't need to purchase it today in order to get that 20%, but I do just like um, to make them aware of that discount, okay? Again, going back to our philosophy of wanting to make this a really relaxing experience, I don't try and sell anything. I really try and make it um, as enjoyable for them as possible just to kind of browse through the products. If they do have any questions, of course they can ask, but um, as I said, I don't really believe in, um, in trying to sell something to somebody, okay? All right. I mean, a lot of the products speak for themselves as well, so we know that the products work really well. Um, sometimes I will give samples as well, so we could always ask our client today whether there's any one treatment that she particularly enjoyed, and then we can go and just put some in a sample pot for her. Okay. All right. Is that something you'd be interested in looking at today? Yeah, you'll take a look at the brochure. Perfect. Okay, I'll just pop my gloves off so I don't want to get um, cream all over the, um, the brochure. Okay. All right. So the range we use has a variety of products. It is a medical grade skincare brand and they do have cleansers, exfoliants, um, concentrated serums, moisturizers, wear alone sunscreens, and also targeted eye products as well. You can see here there's quite a few um, different ranges that they offer. I will just talk you through today what we've actually used, okay? So this is the cleanser we used on you today. It contains a mixture of plant-based surfactants and chamomile and aloe. It is really good as a double cleanser because the ingredients are not harsh or stripping, meaning you can go ahead and apply it twice and you won't get any negative side effects from doing so. Uh, we also used the... Where is it? So we also used this on you today and that is the Renewal Serum. It contains 8% lactic acid, so it is very gentle, 
but it is a um, chemical exfoliant, okay? This also contains arnica, and arnica is perfect for oily and blemish prone skin, okay? Now we didn't use any retinols on your skin today because you've let us know that you're using tretinoin already so we wouldn't be recommending the retinol line for you, okay? And then we went ahead and used the, where is that, the recovery balm there on you today. It's that one there. And that contains copper peptide and shea butter. The copper peptides are particularly useful at targeting the appearance of soft lines and wrinkles, and they really help to promote collagen and elastin production. Um, and collagen and elastin are two very important structural proteins for the skin. They make the skin more bouncy and firm in appearance, so they're really important in our anti-aging um, protocol, okay? All right. And I know that you already mentioned in your consultation that you're using a sunscreen. Yeah, so you don't need any of our sunscreens today. Do you know what um, number sunscreen you're using? Yeah, 50. That's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, so our SPFs are 50 as well. So you're already using that. That's wonderful. Okay. So I will leave the brochure with you, and as I said, there is a 20% discount, but there's no pressure to buy anything. You can go away and think about it, and then you can always reach back out to us. Okay? All right. So, Amanda, what I like to do as a very final stage is just ask the client whether they would like a warm towel on their face, and I also go and get them a beverage if they would like one just to kind of um, let them have five to ten minutes relaxation um, before we completely finish. Okay, would you like the warm towel? Yeah, beautiful. Okay, so it does have a little bit of a space for your mouth so we will pop it over and then would you like me to go and get you a drink? Yeah, so we do actually have a cafe in here which specializes in herbal teas. Are you a fan of herbal teas? Yeah, you are beautiful. So we have um, lots of different types. What are some of your favorites and I can maybe recommend? You like matcha? Okay, so we have strawberry matcha, ginger matcha, lemon, I think we have jasmine, we, I think we also have oh, licorice matcha. You'll try the licorice. Okay, wonderful. And we will warm your towel up so it'll be nice and warm when it goes on your face. And then I can play some spa music if you want and you're welcome to stay here for as long as you would like. Yeah, okay, beautiful. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I will just pop your drink at this side there for you, and then we'll put your towel on as well. Okay. As I said, there is a little gap, so you can still drink your tea. Okay, 